वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम एट डैश थर्टी सेवन सो द स्टेटमेंट इज द ड्रिल इज जैम्ड इन द वॉल एंड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू टॉर्क एंड फोर्स शोन डिटरमाइन द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट बी ऑन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ ड्रिल बिट इन बैक एट सेक्शन ए ए सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द ड्रिलिंग मशीन एंड दिस इज द ड्रिल बिट विच इज जैम इन द वॉल द फोर्स दैट इज एक्सर्टेड ऑन दिस ड्रिल मशीन इज वन फिफ्टी न्यूटन दैट इज एट सर्टन एंगल all the dimensions are ratios are given so we have to find the state of stress if you section it at section the section is shown so you have to find the state of stress at point b so let's start with the solution so first step is that uh, if you cut this at section a a so definitely you will be having a uh, normal force that will be in an x direction you will be having a vertical shear which is vy you will be having this is the torque that is applied that is uh, clockwise so in reaction you will be have torque about x axis and the one important thing is that you will be having a moment about z axis z axis is actually out out of the plane so this will be moment mz so we will find this mz we will find this torque t we will find this nx and vy by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x direction is equal to 0 and force in this direction is taken as positive so nx is exerted nx the other force is you can see this is the force 150 newton it will have two component one will be along in this direction n x and other one is along this direction uh, sorry not n x this will be let this is f so this will be f x and this will be f y and this f x will be equal to f which is 150 into let this theta is theta so cos of theta is 4 over 5 so 4 over 5 and this fy will be equal to 150 into sin of theta and sin of theta is 3 over 5 perpendicular over hypotenuse so 3 over 5 so nx minus 150 into 4 over 5 will be equal to 0 so from here you will get this nx will be equal to 120 newton we will find this ny by using uh, sorry vy by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so vy which is downward so minus vy plus this vertical component which is 150 into 3 over 5 will be equal to zero so vy will be equal to 90 newton okay third step is that we will find this torque t about x axis so sum of all moment about x axis must be equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so you can see this is counter clockwise torque and this is clockwise torque about x axis so their sum must be equal to 0 so t minus 20 is equal to 0 so from here t will be equal to 20 newton into meter and the last thing is that you have to find this moment about z axis so sum of all moment about z axis must be equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so this is z axis so one moment is this one which is clockwise minus mz the other moment will be this force into perpendicular distance is 125 mm this will also produce clockwise and the third moment which is this force into perpendicular distance is 400 and this is producing counter clockwise so their sum will be zero so minus mz clear minus 150 into 4 over 5 multiply by the perpendicular distance is 125 mm which is 105 m plus 150 into 3 over 5 and perpendicular distance is 400 mm which is 0.4 m their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get mz will be equal to 21 newton into meter 
now you have all these reaction values so we will and this uh, sort of problem shows you combined loading where you have normal stress you have movement about z you have torque as well as well as these forces so we will find the section properties and then we will move toward finding these stresses so sectional properties in sectional properties we have to find the moon area and you can see this is the cross section so area is pi by pi r square clear so pi into r is given as 5 millimeter which is 0 0.005 square and when you solve this you will get 25 into pi into 10 raised to power minus 6 you know it will be meter square now we'll find the moment of inertia iz about z axis so for this cross section um, for this cross section the moment of inertia for circular body will be pi by 4 r power 4 so pi multiply 4 multiply by r is 0 0.005 power 4 will give you 0 0.156 to 5 pi into 10 is power minus 9 and unit will be meter power 4 the last thing will be polar moment of inertia and polar moment of inertia for circular rod having radius r is pi by 2 r power 4 so pi by 2 into r is 0 0.005 power 4 is equal to 0 0.3125 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 meter power 4. Now what we will do is that we will move toward finding the normal stresses first. So we will, let me show you what are the normal stresses that is acting on this system. So you can see one stress normal stress is this nx which will cause compression in this rod and the second normal stress will be due to this bending moment mz which we have calculated so this normal stress will be equal to this normal stress will at point b will be equal to minus n divided by a axial load stress due to axial load minus m into y divided by i into z so n is calculated as 120 so minus 120 divided by area is shown over here 25 pi into 10 to the power minus 6 minus m moment mz this is mz 21 what is y so y you can see here that uh, y is distance from neutral this is point b and this is the neutral axis so y will be equal to zero so zero divided by i z so i z is 0 0.15625 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 so this whole term will be zero because it is multiplied by with zero so we will get sigma b stress normal stress at point b comes out to be minus 1.528 mega pascal so this is the normal stress now we will move toward uh, shear stress shear stress so we can see that we have uh, shear stress at point b will be due to shear stress torsional shear stress and the shear stress due to uh, due to vertical shear this is the vertical shear so we have to so first we will find uh, transverse shear transverse shear which is due to vy clear and that transverse shear tau of x y vertical at point b will be equal to vy into qb divided by i z into t so what is QB? So QB is equal to Y dash bar into A dash. So from here you can check it that this is the cross section. This is point B. So this is point B. So this is the area A dash. A dash. So which is equal to half of semicircle. So pi by 2 R power square 
okay and what will be y dash so y dash will be this distance from neutral axis this will be y dash and for semicircle this y dash bar is equal to 4 over 3 pi into y the, uh, or distance from neutral axis till this so which is uh, 5 millimeter 0 0.005 so when you multiply both this you will get qb so 4 over 3 pi multiply by vertical distance is 0 0.005 and area is pi by 2 of semicircle 0 0.005 whole square so when you solve this you will get qb will be equal to 83.33 into 10 to the power minus 9 cubic meter so put the value vertical share vy is 90 90 multiplied by 83.33 into 10 to the power minus 9 divided by iz is this one 0 0.156 0 0.156 two five pi into 10 to the power minus 9 and what about thickness so thickness you can see this is the thickness which is 5 and 5 10 millimeter so 10 millimeter is 0 0.01 meter so 0 0.01 so when you calculate it you will get 1.528 mega pascal that is the sharing stress transfer sharing stress due to vertical shear at point b now another sharing stress is torsional sharing stress and that is due to torque due to torque which is equal to tau of x y due to torque t at point b will be equal to t into c divided by j so one question you will ask that in our previous problem a dash 36 we have taken tau of x y clear one is one was tau of x z yes this was tau of x y and this was tau of x z now here we have taken both tau of x y and tau of x y the reason is that you can see that this torque is about x axis clear and this vertical shear is along y-axis so this y-axis is along y-axis means tau of x y so the reason is that both this point this is z-axis so we are interested to find out the shear stress at point z so z means z axis means x y in the in x y plane z is actually x y plane so that's why we are taking this so put the value torque is given as uh, 20 20 newton into meter 20 newton into meter c is again 0 0.005 divided by j which we calculated was 0 0.3125 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 so you will get 101.86 mega pascal this is the shear stress due to torsion or torque at point b now total sharing stress will be at point b will be equal to tau of x y torque t at point b minus tau of x y due to vertical shear because it is downward at point b so 101.8 megapascal minus 1.528 megapascal is equal to 100.3 megapascal or you can say sharing stress at point 3 at point b is 100 megapascal so this is the sharing stress at point b now what we will do is that if you want to express on state of stress element at point b so let this is the element small element taken 
so this is your y-axis here this is your taken as x-axis and this is your z-axis so normal stress was 1 minus 152 so we will represent them on the state of stress element so let me show you it it is compressive so minus on this face this will be minus 1.528 mega pascal and tau of x y is equal to tau b so x represent plane and y represent direction so x plane means y z this is z x plane means y z so if i draw it like this so it will be this is x y plane so this is x y and now y z so this plane is x plane so your tau of x y will be this one i will choose black color this one upward so on top face it will be like this one similarly this is also plane tau of x x plane so tau of uh, x y in the direction of y this this is tau of x y clear and this value is 100 mega pascal so this was all about this problem 8-37 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also all the links of my playlist uh, are given in the description box so you can easily find each and every uh, playlist of every chapter thank you